सो अक्सर दिस इज हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इतनी वीडियो सो आज जो है हम लोग है अक्षय के साथ अक्षय so actually what i feel is that for this car if you see there is actually no competition i mean in that segment i don't see any other car which is there at this price point right with so many features to ko to aap log jante hi honge kyunki hum logon ne jo hai bahut sara trips saath mein kiya hai and we both live in the same society hum logon ka ek biker group bhi hai and bahut bahut baar in fact aap dekhe honge but i would like to say one thing ki this video is going to be in english because uh, akshay is kannadiga he is from karnataka and unki english hindi matlab bol sakte hai but not not matlab wo utna comfortable nahi hai so isliye maine socha yaar english mein कर लेते ताकि दोनों के दोनों जो है कंफर्टेबल रहेंगे अपनी ऑडियंस तो यार हर लैंग्वेज जो है समझ जाते हैं सो या ऑफ कोर्स आप लोग अगर कर्नाटका से हो बैंगलोर से हो तो आप थोड़ा सा अक्षय को गाली दो क्योंकि वो मुझे सिखाते नहीं है हाउ टू टॉक इन कन्नडा सो आई अंडरस्टैंड यार इतना साल हो गया मुझे सीखना चाहिए बट आई एम एक्चुअली ट्राइंग आई डोंट नो हाउ टू डू इट इट्स रियली डिफिकल्ट मतलब थोड़ा सा एक जैसे आप मतलब हूँ मैं उड़ीसा से और इतने सालों से जो है उड़िया हिंदी इंग्लिश यही बातें करते रहते हैं तो थोड़ा सा साउथ इंडिया में थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट हो रहा है टू लर्न बट आई आई ऑनेस्टली वॉन्टेड टू लर्न बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू ब्लॉग इन कनाडा समटाइम मैन आज जो वीडियो हम लोग बना रहे हैं सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अक्षय कार सो अक्षय हैज डन क्लोज टू अबाउट हाउ मच अक्षय थर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन एटी थर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एटी किलोमीटर सो वट हैपन इज की द मोमेंट आई थिंक यू बॉट द कार आफ्टर दैट दिस लॉकडाउन वॉज दैन हाँ सो लॉट ऑफ किलोमीटर्स बट आई थिंक बाय दैट टाइम ही हैज अंडरस्टूड दी कार एंड अक्षय जो है एक कार इंथुसियास्ट भी है मोटरसाइकिल एंड कार इंथुसियास्ट है तो इनको नॉलेज बहुत अच्छा है तो ऑब्वियसली वो अगर कोई परचेस किए हैं सो बहुत सोच समझ के किए होंगे तो अब बहुत हो गया बातें अब चलते हैं गाड़ी कहीं पर पार्क करेंगे और बात करते हैं द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू फील इन दिस कार इज द रोबस्ट क्वालिटी जैसे आप अंदर घुसते हो आपको समझ में आ जाता है ना अक्षय so this is actually that uh, premium uh, car feeling hai na so for me to be honest i am really scared driving anyone else car it's your car that's there okay so it is hey aaron is here we'll take him na aaron huh yeah bro aaron park your bike and come no we'll make a small video there hey where you guys off to no here only in this society only so is gaadi ko jo hai maine ek bar highway pe bhi chalaya tha मतलब आप बिलीव नहीं करोगे जब आप इसको फ्लोर करते हो ना द काइंड ऑफ टॉर्क दिस कार हैज मैन ट्रूली इट इट गिव्स यू दैट वो स्पोर्ट वाला फीलिंग आपको देता है एंड यू डोंट इवन रियलाइज कि यार आप क्या स्पीड पे हो सच में मतलब 100 120 तो ऐसे ही हो जाता है वो बीप होता है ना एक्सेस आफ्टर 120 आई थिंक ओ दिस इज दिस डज ओ शिट यू आर लकी मैन नाउ यू बाय एनी कार दैट बीप इज देयर आफ्टर 120 दैट इज इरिटेटिंग है नॉन स्टॉप एंड सी वन वे इट इज गुड इट्स अ सेफ्टी थिंग बट यार इट इज इरिटेटिंग यार समटाइम्स यू फील दैट देयर इज अ ओपन रोड एंड यू जस्ट हैड वांट टू ड्राइव एट 130 40 इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल मैन सो एक्सेस व्हाट आई फील इज दिस कार हैज अ स्लाइटली स्टिफर सस्पेंशन राइट अ स्लाइटली स्टिफर सस्पेंशन स्टिफर सस्पेंशन सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट आई फील दैट दीस स्मॉल हम्स और बम्प्स यू यू कैन काइंड ऑफ फील बिकॉज़ राइट नाउ आई केम फ्रॉम द युनाई सो दैट्स व्हाई द युनाई इज एक्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट इट इज इट इज गुड ऑन सस्पेंशन हां बट देन द डीमेरिट इज दैट कि ऑन हाईवे यू डोंट गेट दैट कॉन्फिडेंस आई मीन इट फील्स लाइक दैट दैट बाउंसी थिंग इज देयर बट दिस वन आई रिमेंबर दैट डे व्हेन वी रोड ऑन द हाईवे प्लांटेड मैन इट वाज सो प्लांटेड यार एंड आई वाज स्केयर्ड टू एक्चुअली राइड फास्ट ड्राइव फास्ट बट यू आर लाइक डूइंग इट नाउ यू विल टेक द कैमरा एंड नाउ अभी जो है अक्षय जो है बात करेंगे आई विल आस्क क्वेश्चंस एंड यू विल आंसर यस यस नो प्रॉब्लम अरे यू कैन वेरी इजीली आंसर नो इफ ओपेंस लाइक दिस हां इट गोस अबव द सीलिंग ओके यूजुअली व्हाट आई हैव सीन इज दिस अंडर्स द गेट इनसाइड हां हां ओके uh before driving this car i had a varna bro so after i gave the varna i had to pick up another car so options are actually uh, very small during the seg- uh, sedan segments as you know most of the people are preferring for suvs so uh, there was hardly any choice with the sedan so uh, my first choice was the bmw 330i and the next was the skoda superb okay and the third was this okay. so i've test driven all the three cars okay. so i don't know why i fell in love with this so um, the superb was about uh, let's say 12 to 15 lakh more than this more than this and uh, with much more features right. so so you felt uh, this was a much more uh, value uh, i felt this was actually bang for the buck bro right right so feel like a sport car man this car that's true on the sports mode with the paddle shifts on yes, yes, yes. <laughs> really I think, I think, uh, comes alive just looking at the power because obviously we don't remember the power figures so that's what true. was the power figure na power figures should be up somewhere up to 140 bhp bro right and it has a very good low end torque so city limits and cruising is actually very good right uh, so the best part of this car is the boot space 
<laughs> trust me guys it is so much of space and just imagine this is a sedan you can just put a mat or bedding or something and then this becomes a bed it's similar to that uh, the alcazar man alcazar mein jitna sara space aapko lag raha hai matlab wahan pe hai jaise flat ho jata hai to ye exactly wahan pe hai agar aap ye gaadi pe dekhoge thodi si jo aapko difference aapko pata chal raha hoga yahan pe so iski jo uh, jo boot hai ye actually टोटली totally खुलता है जैसे अगर आप दूसरे कोई सेडान को देखोगे ना तो सेडान की जो डोर्स है ना जनरली यहाँ पे यहाँ पे जो ओपन होता है इतना तक ये खुलता है बट दिस इज लाइक विद द ग्लास इट इज सच अ बिग ओपनिंग मैन मैसिव ऊपर इज आउट अच्छा ओ दिस इज द कैंटोन सिस्टम सो दूफर इज दिस वन and then there's one woofer on the dashboard also oh, so there are two woofers yes. oh ho so that is why the music quality that is excellent the lnk thing acha with the lnk so lnk is slightly expensive than the slightly normal, than the normal but these are the features which you get extra, extra features with lnk okay acha and apart from that anything else on lnk if you remember anything the wheels are uh, different uh, acha the the, the wheels. okay so your wheels different hai for the lnk uh, and the rear uh, the front parking sensors are standard Uh, front parking uh, it don't I think with the LNK, LNK. With that's LNK. what ha huh? uh, because i remember this 360 uh, sensors are there ha 360 sensors right 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 oh in the side also na acha this one yes this is the side one uh, sides also there is uh, this thing right so yeah. some vehicle comes closer huh. so sitting this thing if you're on uh, within uh, 10 or 15 huh. so that Oh, oh, oh. okay. So right now, I think the worst part of it is that the Skoda doesn't have a diesel engine right now. I think all right of them now are petrol. No diesel engines. Right, only It's petrol. Petrol engines. mildly hybrid. Ha, but then the problem will be petrol uh, mileage will be one issue, and second, I think the torque definitely, definitely there will be definitely difference. Different. Right. Yes. So this is how the vehicle actually looks, and these are uh, washers. Have you ever tried this, bro? Uh, yes. Every huh? time you hit the thing, so huh. that pops automatically up. pops up, and then the water yeah, is sprayed. Once the headlights are on, so that huh. pops up. So okay, what exactly happens? It actually sprays the water, water here. Water, soap water. That's it. So that's all. Pops up and huh. sprays it. But uh, does that help? Uh, if it's muddy or murky or something, that actually uh, helps in clearing Removing the dust it, and the uh, dead okay. mosquitoes or flies on the. Acha acha. Face any issue with the ground clearance of this car because I feel it's slightly low. Every time with the speed bumps in Bangalore, huh. every time it scrapes. Oh, that's I one mean, issue I mean, with this. This is an issue with uh, the hmm. all the sedans. Sedans. So, but I think the the new one which they have re released the, the the cheaper one. What is it called? Uh, the the Slavia. Slavia. Slavia has one hundred forty mm of ground. Much uh, higher ground clearance this compared to this. Around I think one sixty or something. One sixty or something. I'm not so sure uh, about it. But it. But it's it actually very uh, low compared very to low, this no? thing. Ah, so this is one. Demon one this thing. Yeah. So every hump you'll have to take it to the left or towards ah, the right. You have to make a corner. Uh, corner and take it. If you go straight, it touches the whole thing. So if you are alone also it touches uh sometimes bro the humps are actually yeah. higher big higher or bigger it touches but on potholes or anything did you any time the rebound is more bro so once it hits something you uh -huh. hear that thud sound oh, something that, uh, yeah okay, okay. Uh -huh. so suspensions are very bad on uh, bad roads bad roads actually so this is good for highways highways only for highways uh, even small rough patches if you ride little uh, drive little faster mm -hmm. uh, maybe they'll soak up the bumps that's true there are rough patches rough patches uh -huh. that's true bro Right. So I think uh, the only demerit with this car is the ground clearance. Other than that, I don't feel there is anything uh, bad about this car. So, how has been your experience so far? Have you ever taken it for highway trips and all any long trips? I've taken it a uh, couple of times, bro. Uh, highways, it's actually really good. Hmm. Uh, but the uh, worst experience I had was uh, last time when I took it uh, on a drive, uh, the battery died. Okay, the so, the uh, uh, locking and unlocking thing. Uh -huh. So the battery died, and uh, after that the car was unlocked, but it didn't start. So I was stranded. So I have to I had to look for a supermarket, find the exact battery, and then start the car. Uh -huh. So without the remote, the car didn't start. But I think this is a problem actually with all the cars. I all think. all the push start cars. To, yeah, <laughs> but surprisingly, there's these uh, days cars like uh, your Hyundai or the. I think in Mahindra XUV also a lot of. Actually coming up with the, the app. app. Yeah. So that's like a really good blue feature. Link, blue link app. So you can start the car remotely start the car turn on the ac's and thing right right yes and actually so how is the performance in city do you find it uh, comfortable or do you find city it because of the automatic transmission it's a breeze to drive in the city with okay. the traffic right. in the highway that's where the car does its best uh -huh. now bad roads is one of the worst car to drive it on the bad <laughs> roads okay so basically two demerits One is the ground clearance. Second is for bad roads. It is bad. The suspension. Suspension is bad. Good. Uh, hundred, hundred and twenty plus. Also. It's actually really good. Bye. I've seen uh, mileage. Uh, this thing go up to almost twenty, twenty-two on high roads. Yes, yes, yes. Seriously? Bro. Yes. Oh shit. That's very high, man. That's very good actually uh, for the two thousand cc. Oh, two thousand cc and still. Uh, what is the power? One forty. One forty-one. 
at 4000 rpm that that mileage is really great yaar yeah. compared to other uh, petrol vehicles ah, 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 ah. really yeah, good on the highways other diesel vehicles also man this small cars they actually give that kind of mileage but That's true. considering a 2 liter engine i don't think uh, it should give that kind of mileage <laughs> i've seen 21 plus on this on the highways acha okay and uh, how about uh, actually braking and all it's all good braking is uh, four disc brakes bro so uh, braking is one thing what you nice. uh, no need to com- uh, compromise on okay. it's really good so you yeah, have obviously with speed uh, you need braking also good braking performance and so far uh, any other issues you have faced with the car other than that heat? i haven't used it much uh, as i told you earlier it's because of the lockdown and right, with all right. the things which is happening Maybe now once you do 40 50000 kilometers then we that's when you'll know the actual right. things and what about the service how much uh, is the service expenses and how how many kilometers you have to do the service but the service interval is usually around 15000 kilometers okay so the usual charge for the service should somewhere come up around 20k And so I think that way this is slightly expensive because regular cars if you say regular car but if you have the service package I don't think so that will be included okay okay that way but otherwise it is 20000 but otherwise like every 10000 kilometers or something every 15000 kilometers or a year bro oh, oh, oh. 15000 km and then makes sense i think actually when you start the car uh-huh. the light actually goes down and comes up bro just like the gsa <laughs> Yeah, bro. Diesel, uh, this thing. But uh, one thing I feel is inside the um, uh, compartment cabin you, cabin, you don't feel that uh, noise. Outside it is more. The insulation is actually really good on uh, this thing. Because that is because of the thicker uh, gauge of uh, metal, metal used, and also the overall insulation is very. That's good. true. Ah, uh, that's there. But outside I feel it's that it's slightly louder. Slightly louder. The uh, rattling is, on the uh, this diesel is engine. There with all the German cars because I have seen the BMWs. audis they also have that uh, have rattling car. diesel noise right. it's good on the car except the tires, tires. the tires should have been slightly better premium uh, premium no this looks like the ordinary it came with the goodyear tires 5 6 lakhs worth the car the same uh, kind true of true that true that bro huh? and the get some good tires wet road grips are actually very bad in this very bad. so when you open throttle huh. it just spins oh, oh, oh shit acha <laughs> Ah, so the tires, I think, uh, is one thing. Maybe needs an upgrade after uh, a few after kilometers. After a few kilometers, you can actually upgrade to maybe Michelin or something, something better. Maybe the comfort is uh, really good, bro. I don't get uh, so tired driving this compared to the other small cars which I drive. Uh-huh. So this is more comfortable on the highways. So the main reason I chose this car uh, was because of the low uh, okay, thing, low side. Uh, low so side. For my parents also. For my easy. parents, as uh, my mother uh, uh-huh. has had an injury, oh, sorry, sorry. so it is easy for her to actually get into the car and actually get out of the okay. car because of the uh, low uh, ground clearance. Because all these tall SUVs, no, it's a catch. For- so my mom actually loves the comfort in the back. She enjoys the seat Same in the back. Your daughter too will be. My <laughs> daughter will always keep popping her head out of the. Oh, Sandro. That's very risky. It's very risky. Actually, a lot of people do that, but it's quite risky. Very risky. Yes. So actually, what I feel is that for this car, if you see, there is actually no competition. I mean, in that segment, I don't see any other car which is there at this price point, right? With so many features. Ah, uh, with so many features and uh, this power and this comfort, this feeling, I don't see any other car will match this kind of quality also. So. True that. If you go for the BMW and all, now it is like. The very expensive very expensive man because i was inquiring in the middle that ki and there is shortage series. of chips also yes so tour series i was actually planning i mean i was just doing research i thought ki maybe we can extend our budget and go for a tour that's series really nice bro it's 55 60 lakhs man oh my way. god 60 lakhs in bangalore that's so too much for a sedan considering this is like uh, 60% of that cost and half the price and this is any day a better car than that because that's, that's true. a very small car see obviously you get that brand value as that's a BMW. true but i don't think driving it anyway you will feel that you are driving it audi is audi is oxygen and yeah. it has the similar parts bro the a4 has the similar uh, this thing what is this right. mirrors right. uh, engine right and the transmission right. it's a uh, same 6 speed transmission so so basically actually what i feel is that this car is actually similar to your audi a4 I mean, definitely there will be some differences, Difference. but more or less, if you see that way, because what I feel is that like for the uh, superb, it also kind of stands nearby to your uh, A6. A6, that's okay. true. See, obviously the segment is higher, but more or less it is kind of similar cars. Similar cars. So, similar kind of power. And so, actually, overall, what do you feel? I mean, would you recommend uh, people buying this car? Uh, right now, it. is not in the production bro this model has been stopped right. so the next uh, the new model is actually uh, on production which is a uh, petrol and a mild hybrid as a mild hybrid mild hybrid so they have completely stopped diesel engines But in skoda now see here actually see other than the rs 
that VRS or whatever you're saying, I don't feel the regular uh, Skoda petrols will be that exciting. That's true. It starts from a 1.5 liter or 6 uh, liter. I'm, I'm not so sure. Yeah, because the the uh, the, uh, the Slavia has a 1.5. 1.5 liter, liter I engine. I think for the Slavia maybe it will be a good choice because it's not so heavy. But if true you consider the uh, uh, bigger models, I don't know how they would perform. Managing it with the petrol and the mild hybrid. Right. Right. That's true. I haven't driven it, but should try right. it once. That we should try. <laughs> Design and all, everything can change, no? All right. Oh, oh, like this you can do, huh? the dial setup and all dial you can change, you can oh change. nice. So, so this, you can change this is one good feature, also. right. So, with this you can again uh, zoom in, zoom out. Right, right. So overall this uh, cabin if you see, you know, it's quite interesting and looks nice. Now now that the uh, sun has already gone down, so it's kind of, it's evening, you can see the ambient lighting also and the overall cabin actually looks very nice. It feels airy also, right feels very airy and rear part also it see overall this view if you see na it feels like you are you are actually sitting on a very very premium car huh okay. that feeling is there because of the boiler but one thing is that this is this should be hard to maintain i think na these things and all that's true bro. Huh? so it gets it dirty very very soon the service i get the whole cleaning thing done yeah, right right and overall sitting comfort if you uh, see so obviously on a sedan you don't get very tall sitting so the sitting is very very comfortable i can actually sit very nicely put my arms here and Akshay has actually moved the seat totally back and even after you push the seat totally back still there is like a lot of space now we have just bahut acha jo hai leg room hai isme acha khasa space to acha khasa hai Overall feeling definitely एक आपको premium वाला feel इस गाड़ी पे मिलता है and uh, music system इसका सबसे बढ़िया है लेकिन आपको सुना नहीं सकता हूँ क्योंकि copyrights का problem हो जाएगा <laughs> audio का but otherwise good चलो अक्षय चलते हैं <laughs> so दोस्तों ये एक short and simple uh, video था अक्षय का overall experience जानने के लिए obviously उन्होंने जो है 13000 किलोमीटर अभी तक चलाया है 13000 किलोमीटर so going forward वो जितना ज़्यादा किलोमीटर्स करेंगे उसके बाद हम लोग एक long term ownership long long ultra ultra long ओनरशिप रिव्यू लेके आएंगे बट ओवरऑल या ये गाड़ी पर्सनली मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है ऐसा ही यार हमारे दोस्त लोग जो है बुला रहे हैं क्योंकि वहाँ पे कुछ मीटिंग चल रहा है विराज भाई का एक्चुअली एक कांड हो गया है अब डुकाटी मल्टी स्टाडा के साथ अब क्या कांड हुआ है वो भी वहाँ जाके बात करते हैं विराज भाई एक्सप्लेन करेंगे कि मल्टी स्टाडा के साथ क्या केस हो गया केस हो गया है गाड़ी में है ना सो so, एनी अभी हम लोग जो है जाएंगे वहाँ पे तो शॉर्ट एंड सिंपल एक छोटा सा वीडियो था अगर आप लोगों का कोई भी क्वेश्चन है विद रिगार्ड्स टू स्कोडा ऑक्टाइव या डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ द वीडियो अक्सर डेफिनेटली आपको आंसर कर लेंगे ऑब्वियसली यार जब वीडियो बनाते हो अक्सर थोड़ा सा कैमरा शाई भी है तो इसलिए वो थोड़ा सा एंशियस कैमरा देखते ही एंशियस हो जाते हैं तो वो है बाकी हम लोग जो है अपने सोसाइटी में है इसलिए कोई टेंशन नहीं है आप सीट बेल्ट बिल्ट बेल्ट का सोचो मत सही है सोसाइटी हमारा इतना बड़ा है कि यार वीडियो बनाने के लिए बहुत सारा जगह है हमारे पास